just real quick, the, 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 the vision that you put back in my mind of my dad coming here on the boat, you know, people say sometimes like, oh, you know, you're, you're so brave. And I'm like, well, I just sort of follow what a sort of a career path is like. And, um, you know, looked at what, like, what's well, the next step? How can I make myself better? How can I do this? How can I have all the qualifications? How do I, you know, get to be able to go into space and do space walks? And I look at that as fairly simple compared to when people take those, those big steps like my dad did and get on a boat and really not know what was at the, at the end. Like maybe heard about it, read about it, maybe made a phone call to someone in the United States and sort of thought he knew what it was going to be like, but really, really took that big step. And I, I think that's pretty brave. And particularly when your family, your culture, you're leaving behind and not knowing whether or not you're going to go back or what, you know, sort of like, I think about the, the people who are going to go to Mars for the first time, you know, like, how is that all going to be? And so I feel like what he did and what people do on this earth um, to make those next steps in their lives, whatever they may be, it's, it's the equally as brave and it's amazing. Um, now getting to this, getting to space and, and what my dad has instilled in me and my, both my parents, my mother is Catholic, my father is Hindu. And we you know had the, the pleasure of, being able to go to church with my dad reading the Bhagavad Gita. I was the youngest to me, you know, while I was sitting there and everybody else was doing some of the, the Catholic stuff until I was old enough to understand that. Um, he shared so much about the Hindu religion and spirituality with us. It was really awesome. So have, have a broader sense of people around the world and what other people uh, feel and see and sense and believe in and appreciate that. Um, and it all sort of came to a culmination, of course, when you're in space and you're like, what is your purpose here? Why are we here? Why do we, you know, we're looking back at our planet and, and going, wow, you know, how is this possible? How is it possible that I have family and friends down there? How is it possible that, you know, I get up in the morning and go for a run and take my dog for a walk and be rained on and, you know, the wind is blowing in my hair. It's, it's just a, a miracle that we have this planet in this humongous solar system where we all live and breathe. And I wish we all got along real well, <laughs> because I think we should all appreciate, um, you know, our small time on this little spaceship we call Earth. It's uh, it's pretty pretty amazing. And you know, you have to you have to step back and go like the the folks who are unhappy. Well, that's they're they're really missing the big picture here, and they're and they're missing the wonder and the miracle of of life in the, on our planet. And so I think I think that really um, was profound when I was up in space. It was obvious and it was easy to see. And so I, I also think about people who are, you know, scientists and explorers who had vision like Einstein without even having to go off our planet to take those steps and have those amazing self-awareness steps about what our, where our place is in the universe. That's a miracle. So I was lucky I got to actually see it with my own two eyes but there's really amazing people on this earth um, and we all need to take our planet, uh, not take our planet for granted.